Here's a little story about an amazing young lady named Eleanor Lee. This beautiful baby girl was adopted at three weeks old in Los Angeles, California, and experienced health problems almost immediately. Her parents noticed she seemed unhappy and uncomfortable, and she was late in reaching milestones. They got help from doctors to understand, and they kept assuring them that she would grow out of it. She didn't sleep well, and as a toddler, she preferred to be alone. Basic tasks were challenging for Eleanor, and she found it very hard to focus and follow directions. She became very frustrated and acted out. And after seeking more help, her parents discovered she had a sensory disorder. And although she made great strides with her therapy, she still struggled with her mood. More testing was done, and they discovered Eleanor was on the autism spectrum and also possessed a mood disorder. She was living in Dallas at the time and began attending a special school, and after much discussion, her parents decided to take her out of the city and to give their girls the country life. It was a great move for Eleanor. She loved her freedom to walk the property and play with their dogs. She attended public school, and even though it was very challenging for her, she made great strides. Her parents were blessed to find Hatch and Weimer and started private tutoring with Erin Watipka. Eleanor loved it, and she was learning. She was 10 years old when she had her first seizure. They hoped it was the one and only, but two more followed and then she was diagnosed with epilepsy. After this time, her parents started to notice changes in her mood. It became darker and she became anxious. She started having terrible nightmares and sometimes night terrors. And after Eleanor struggled to control her depression and anxiety, she developed trichotillomania, which is when you develop urges to pull out your own body hair. She began to wear a hat to hide her loss of hair, and she wore that hat for five years. And as she continued to attend school, getting up and facing the world each day became harder and harder. Her parents were lucky to have wonderful teachers and staff at LaGrange Middle School that helped her each step of the way. But as Eleanor transitioned into high school, they could see this path was not right for her. She began homeschooling with a local teacher named Dawn, and Eleanor suddenly flourished and looked forward to learning again. Eleanor was still dealing with her mood and anxiety, so again, her parents helped, sought help from a specialist in Austin where she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and began a therapeutic medication schedule. With these new meds and a new in the right environment, she became a new person. She woke up happy and ready for the day and she started to grow her hair back. She looked forward to socializing with her friends at Ann Then, and Eleanor finally had the opportunity this year to enroll in the Ann Then Young Adult Program. She absolutely loves it, and it gives her a purpose, a self-worth, and the opportunity to be part of a group. Eleanor always loved coloring. She was fascinated with the big box of crayons. She would draw a cute dog or a pretty flower and her parents enrolled her in an art class with Terry Eiler. She loved going to her country studio and making art. Terry saw her potential and guided her into making very pretty artwork. They noticed that when she became a teenager, she started sketching faces. These weren't your standard straightforward looking at the camera faces. They were unusual, interesting, unique, and kind of funky. Her parents also started to notice that Eleanor would take one or two of her sketches when they would leave the house, as if they comforted her. Terry felt Eleanor had a talent and a unique vision. She encouraged Eleanor to continue, and Eleanor drew more and more faces. She began giving them names and continued to carry them with her when she left the house. The pictures seemed to be her friends. And when Eleanor would attend and then events, Erin started to notice these faces, and she was intrigued. She commissioned Eleanor create a set of faces to be featured in her new venture Jack and Mary's and the customers loved the paintings. Her supportive sister even got a tattoo of one of these amazing faces. How cool is that? Eleanor's painting sessions are a type of therapy for her. She loves this time. This is her time to be in her element, to reflect, to process, and to just do what she loves. It really is an amazing process. Take a little look. When Eleanor first started painting faces, 
She painted profiles and facial features that were off or angular. It almost seemed to coincide with, with, with the way that Eleanor was feeling or what she was experiencing. As she became happier and started coming out of her shell, her faces were straightforward and became more pretty and mainstream, but still with her funky little edge. Through her vivid colors and distinct lines and abstract faces, Eleanor illustrates her understanding of others and of herself. Challenged with feeling misunderstood, art became a form of communication for her. She's not just painting faces, she's painting her friends. Her circle of comfort. Each face portrays a unique expression and personality, offering a glimpse into a world where imagination and personal emotion are intertwined. Much like her paintings, Eleanor exhibits passion, empathy, wisdom, spirit, and mystery. There's much to learn from her imagination and interpretation of human beings. Eleanor, when we first started this, you told me you wanted to be a local celebrity. And look at you now. Sweet girl, remember, you are always enough and we love you so much.